This segment is sponsored by Our Home Magazine. The holiday season is quickly approaching and it's time to have it look and feel a lot more that way. Joining us today is Khaki Trip McCarty, photographer, designer, and founder of Glitter Moon Vintage Christmas, your destination for all things festive. And if you don't believe me, take a look at her. Hey, Khaki, good to see you. Good morning. It's great to be here. Wow, there's Thank a you. lot going on behind you. I want to do a little background first. So did you start as a photographer or was that a hobby or profession or how did that work? Um, well, I got my degree in art history. I, I would have gotten it in photography if they'd actually offered that <laughs> where I went to college. Um, and then uh, when I moved here in 1975, I went into the camera photography business. I would, worked in that for 25 years. Then I worked in the antiques business for 10 years after that. Well, and, and you, you put these beautiful things together that are... I, I don't mean this in a negative way, but they are over the top, man. They, those, that's amazing. I, I just when your when your shot first came up and I saw it, I'm like, wow, look at all of that. So uh, you've done greeting cards. We mentioned the mm -hmm. photography part, and then you were down in Atlanta a couple of years ago, and uh, somebody saw some of your work, and and boom, something happened, didn't it? Yeah, that was that was a great show for my uh, for my debut. I must I must say, and um, things just kind of went crazy from there. I've been <laughs> extremely fortunate. So let's uh, take a, a a little run down the road here and take a look at some of the things that you do. This uh, wreath that's behind you, um, like I said, there's a lot happening. Um, how long does it take to put one of those together? And are they, do you follow a, I mean, you follow a form because it's a wreath, I guess. But is there, do you know what it's going to look like when you start? Or it just kind of evolves? Um, well, it takes me parts of two to three days to make one generally, because after a while, my brain gets tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah, so so I um, actually look around my workshop and I pick out a piece that I want to be the jumping off point or the focal point and start working from there with colors and, you know, any kind of aspect of design. You've got, you know, texture and scale and, and all that sort of thing happening. Um, and so, no, I have a vague idea of what I think it's going to look like when I start, but it never quite, you know, it kind of takes on a life of its own by the time it's done. Sure, like any piece of art, it, it really kind of does as it goes along. It kind of makes itself, so to speak, with a lot of guidance from you. Do you actually make ornaments as well, or do you use other people's ornaments to make the wreaths? Um, no, everything I use is vintage. Um, so these are the ornaments that, you know, like I grew, grew up with and that a lot of the people who are my customers grew up with. So they're kind of filled with memories. Um, you know, it's just bringing the past up to a point where, you know, these things have been handed down through generations. And then I put these pieces together to make something that hopefully if you were to purchase one, you would pass it down to generations. Oh, I get it. So I, I would bring that um, that old Miller and Rhodes box that was under mom's bed to you <laughs> that has all the old ornaments in it and you make uh, a great wreath out of it. Is that how it works? Well, um, I have done custom pieces in the past, but I'm not taking any commissions <laughs> right now because I'm just too overwhelmed. I sent a piece to a woman in Texas earlier this year. She'd been waiting four years for one. So <laughs> I've just uh, kind of put a hold on that. But I have an embarrassingly large collection myself. So I pretty much <laughs> an got An embarrassing you want. large collection. Well, that's the way collecting works, isn't it? You, you oh, get yeah. started and you can't <laughs> stop. But at least you're able, it's not like the stuff that's in my garage, at least you're able to turn it into something fantastic and beautiful. Thank you for spending a moment with us. I know you're busy. It's It's got to be peak time of the year for you and get back in there and, and get to work on all that beautiful art. 
Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's really been lovely. Our pleasure. Absolutely. For more information on Khaki and her holiday creations, visit her website. Website. It's called Glitter Moon Vintage Xmas. Dot com. Learn more in the current issue of Our Home Magazine on newsstands now. Please stay with us. There's more Virginia This Morning coming up.